Okay, Watfa members, uh, Randy Harden here with Hank Wozniel coming to the famed F-150 truck on our next Watfa trip. As you can see on my truck clock, it is 6.25 a.m. where Hank has been traveling for over an hour to meet me here at the old abandoned Menards parking lot. Good morning. Hey, let me uh, adjust this here so I can pick you up. Okay. It's kind of hard to see you, but it's old dark hundred yeah yeah another early morning but I do have my coffee so we're on our way where Crandon Forest County Courthouse yeah Crandon yeah, yeah another meeting actually a presentation yeah Yamaha has given away some money and our clubs are taking it and they're happy and they're gonna use it for some signage okay good morning now we're up at the uh, courthouse in Crandon for Forest County and ran into one of our speakers today representative Jeff Mersoff from uh, the area and Jeff has been a real trail advocate working with the state organization and many things and Jeff uh, just wanted to say hi and give you a chance to tell us what you think about off-highway trails and trails in general and what your feelings are that kind of thing Good morning, everybody. And you know, just uh, the the recreational sports of uh, of all types, uh, motorized and non motor non motorized. Uh, and I guess kind of motorized are, are uh, kind of near and dear to my heart because I that's those are things that I participate in. Uh, I, I work as hard as I can through the state to support those, uh, keep our trails going, and uh, actually, uh, you know, in our area with tourism, uh, we've uh, everybody I think has seen the economic uh, boost that the person uh, can see with uh, the. The, the good trail systems and the uh, the ability to have a uh, year-round uh, uh, trails being used either by snowmobiles and or ATVs uh, throughout the season are a real boost for our economy in the area. Well, Jeff, I know uh, I appreciate you coming up to our VIP ride up in Tigerton this last fall, and I know you're a, an ATV or a UTV or a motorcyclist, and I'm guessing a snowmobile and probably anything with wheels you're, you're on it. Absolutely. Huh? Well, we really appreciate you working with us and helping us. Uh, uh, it's just state matures, I guess we'll say it with our with our trail program. So, you bet. Thank you, and I will continue to work as hard as I can to uh, promote those uh, ideas and uh, uh, work with uh, whoever I have to to uh, promote our area. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. Okay, now we have State Senator Jim Holprin, and Jim, I know over the years you've just been a great uh, advocate for uh, doing the trails, uh, support the right way, and, and uh, you're up here today as part of this ceremony, but can you tell the members a bit about uh, your feelings about the, the trails and economy and how it all links together, what your thoughts are? Sure. Well, I represent a uh, Senate district in north central, northeastern Wisconsin that's uh, all are part of 11 counties, so a very large area, and almost all of it forested and rural. So we depend on ATV trails to build our economy in the area and to strengthen the economy, and the ATV trail system does an excellent job of doing that. Well, that system wouldn't be there without the Wisconsin ATV Association and all the local clubs that do the volunteer work to raise the money to build the trails, to groom the trails, to do all that work to lobby the legislature. I sure appreciate the professionalism of Randy Harden and the Wisconsin ATV Association uh, that do the work they do uh, uh, with the DNR and with the local clubs and making everything a cohesive whole so that the economy of our area can benefit. Okay, well thanks Jim. We really appreciate all your, your help and support throughout all yep. these years. You bet. Okay. A little overview of the grant way back in June. I think it was around the 22nd of June. Daryl Richards wrote a grant, or a track grant, and it came to the approval of the, of the RAC committee here in the county boardroom on that day. So I came over to represent Forest County ATV. And it went along quite a while, and we got to the grant part of it, and it failed. In about the 12th hour and 15 minutes, <clears throat> it got back introduced again because we didn't have a match. And John asked me if I could come up with a $10,000 match, and I went, wow, boy, am I sticking my neck out this time. <laughs> but I said, yeah. <laughs> but it happened that in the spring, when I went to the Watford meeting with down, which Randy's the president of down in Wausau, Yamaha's name came up about issuing or giving grants out for occasions like this. So I thought, you know, that might be my ace in the hole. 
and thank God it was. And we're so lucky to have Diane Hausinger as a grant writer that belongs to our club, and she did a wonderful job of writing it. And lo and behold, I get a telephone call from Yamaha in September. In fact, I was in the clubhouse eating lunch, and I had to go out on the sidewalk because I couldn't hear what she was saying. And I says, she says, I need some information. And I says, well, ma'am, I don't have it. I'm, I'm eating right now. And the best person I know has got that information is Diane Hausinger that wrote the grant. She says, how can I get a hold of her? And I thought, well, Florida's quite a ways, but <laughs> today's communications, it usually works. And I give her Diane's number, and boy, it went along just wonderfully ever since that day. And I'm so happy that to have this grant because I sure didn't know how he was going to come up with $10,000. Well, I don't uh, have to tell any of you the degree to which the uh, economic li livelihood and the economic well-being of northern Wisconsin depends on our trail system and uh, to a growing degree on our ATV trail system. Uh, you know, Jeff and I attend a lot of uh, ribbon cuttings and uh, sad to say uh, a lot of them are not for manufacturing plants. Uh, a lot, 30 to 40 percent of the ribbon cuttings I attend are for openings of trail systems, either a new trail or a trail addition or a new access somewhere. And so, you know, every day brings home the uh, point to me of how important trail access and trail development is to the economy of our small communities in northern Wisconsin. This helps uh, the legislature, obviously, because uh, we run the ATV trail system in the state and we benefit from the health of small businesses which pay sales and income and other types of taxes in Wisconsin and increasingly I think the northern part of Wisconsin, all of you know it, is uh, coming to be known as the trail destination, ATV trail destination for the state of Wisconsin. Other counties are going to have trail systems but they're not going to be as extensive and they're not going to be as well used and well maintained and uh, they're not going to be as popular as the trail systems here in north central and northeastern Wisconsin. All of you, of course, are responsible for that. That helps take the burden off the state in having to supply personnel to try and maintain these systems or fund them. We're so very lucky to have all of you doing that work and cooperating at the county level with the club system, with the ATV Association statewide, with the manufacturers. And so uh, my thank you from the state of Wisconsin, from the state legislature, for all the hard work you're doing, uh, you're key and you know it, to the economy here in northern Wisconsin. And uh, I just want to say, and I know Jeff believes it too, keep up the good work uh, on behalf of the state and on behalf of your communities. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. And thank, I, I guess I'd like to thank all the volunteers and all the people that work as hard as they do on, on the uh, uh, Forest County ATV Association uh, 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 group. Uh, there's a lot of hours that are put in, and it, it, if it wasn't for your dedication, uh, a lot of these things wouldn't get done. Uh, it takes a, a lot of dedicated people and a lot of time spent, uh, and it's uh, like a lot of organizations. You need a lot of dedicated people to get that done, and uh, I'd like to personally thank you, and I think uh, a lot of businesses in the area would like to thank you for, for your, uh, all your work. And uh, it's, it, it, I guess to be honest, ATVN sometimes has been an uphill battle. Uh, there's a lot of different situations. Uh, I know when we started with snowmobile trails in the state, uh, that was kind of an uphill battle. Uh, and people have uh, kind of uh, come to know that that's something that is uh, 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 part of uh, northern Wisconsin and part of Wisconsin and part of a lot of people's life. So uh, we work real hard to keep those trail systems going also. But uh, ATVN, on the other hand, is a little bit different situation. There's a lot of different uh, outcomes of what happens in the summertime and, and the different uh, things that impact people's lives. So uh, thank you for your per perseverance on, on working on issues like that and uh, keeping things moving, uh, specifically in Forest County. And, uh, and uh, I guess across, uh, like the Senator said, uh, we go to a lot of ribbon cuttings. And uh, our trail system in, in northern Wisconsin specifically are, are great. Uh, people come up here and uh, everybody knows and enjoys uh, the recreation that they get out of it. So uh, I'd like to thank you for inviting me today and uh, working on things and uh, working through things to uh, have this uh, day come. Uh, I am a member of the RAC com committee. Consequently, a lot of times when the meetings are being held, I'm not able to attend the meetings over here. But uh, uh, we have a lot of good members that are making the good decisions and, and keeping that moving forward too. So. Okay, Terry, uh, it was a great uh, 
occurrence here today, a good ceremony, but uh, why don't you give the, the members a little bit of your perspective? Well, it was an opportunity to uh, get a grant from Yamaha for the $8,000 uh, matching funds. It's interesting because um, when I was first hired on as a regional coordinator, one of the first jobs Randy gave me was to come up to the county board meeting here. And um, he uh, also solicited um, Bill Schumann and Spencer McElroy and a couple other uh, board members to come and help me in case I got into trouble. Um, well, really what happened was um, we had a meeting um, and we were talking about uh, ATV trails in Forest County and the meeting was pretty heated and uh, there were a lot of people there and at one point one of the people in the meeting jumped up and yelled shut up as loud as he could to the uh, entire audience. Uh, I sat quietly and waited for my turn to speak and uh, at the end of the meeting I kind of brought everything together and just said, um, you know, we're, we're ATVs, we're the Wisconsin ATV Association and we aren't going away. And here we are today, some years later, uh, with many, many miles of ATV trails and miles of route. And, and an opportunity to have even more miles and um, more routes. So overall, I think it was a really good time. I enjoyed the uh, christening, if you will. Uh, Randy sent me up uh, without a whole lot of uh, back, uh, something to fall back on. But I thought I did okay, and I'm, I'm grateful to be here today. Uh, Randy's and Hank uh, are here as well. So uh, that's about all I got to say on this, Randy.